reason for Benghazi, from what I can find out, mm -hmm. was so that Obama could have those people kidnap the ambassador, and then he was going to trade the ambassador for the blind sheik. Right. But they killed him instead. Mm -hmm. So the, so Obama didn't get to do what he wanted to do. So guess what he did? He did it with, with this clown. Right. He got five people out of Gitmo. They were the most dangerous of the bunch. Right. And then going to sit down and tell us that we have no reason to be concerned about it. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm just a little bit past sick and tired of this jackass, whatever you want to call him making a fool out of everybody. Right. And that's what he's doing. He's not he's not stupid. He knows exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly. He everything has been pinpointed, set aside, and now it's all coming to fruition. Right. And I want to get her also on what's your thoughts on the uh, you know, as you know these guys who these guys were in a uh, you, same unit as Sar Sergeant Brotop are speaking out right now, and they're being attacked by the uh, by the, the, co the by the left communist press. What's your intake on that one? Well, the guys on the that are telling the truth, they don't really need to be bothered. It's the press that needs to be bothered, right? It's the press that needs to have a conscience at some point in time in their life, because I mean that's just pure trash. Right. That's all that is, is pure, simple trash. And you know what? That's exactly what Miss, um, we had Miss, uh, we had Miss USA, West, Vir West Virginia, and she said that the news media has gone to murder and mayhem, basically now. That's what they've gone to. They have gone, they have sunk that low to actually just talk about murder and mayhem all the time now. That's what they're doing. Good. That's their focus is is murder and mayhem now, and they just want to uh, demonize and to um, and, and to destroy the Tea Party. And guess what? They're they're failing right now, and this is why we do have, believe it or not, we do have. Uh, here's Jerry, the uh, Home Improvement Center. Here's this. Also, we do have, uh, believe it or not. Uh, um, we're going places, Toyota, as well as Nike. We're going forward. So there you go. Nike's changed their slogan to going forward now. <laughs> going forward. Man, you know what? These people can come up with all the sayings and slogans and all the nonsense they want to. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're genuine, par for the course cowards. Yeah. C O W A R D S. That's for those who can't spell. Right. And the leading coward, leading coward in the United States of America sits in the White House. Yep. And I they have the nerve to call him president. Yeah. That's yeah. just that's just over the top to say the least. Yeah, it is. Over Absolutely. the top. Absolutely. And you know, I watched. Uh, did you watch Fox? Uh, 